One of them looked at using a cancer drug called venetoclax, which actually was discovered here in Melbourne. It's a blockbuster drug for the treatment of a form of leukemia. It induces suicide in a cell that's dependent on a particular protein that the drug inhibits. And some cancers are dependent, meaning they can only survive with this particular survival protein called BCL2. And venetoclax blocks BCL2. And we've learned that HIV latently infected cells also need BCL2 to survive. So we gave venetoclax into a humanized mouse model. Um, who the mouse was infected with HIV, was on antiretroviral therapy, received a few courses of venetoclax, and then we stopped antiretroviral therapy. And there was a delay in time to rebound, which is suggestive that the reservoir has been reduced. At the same time, we also collected cells from people living with HIV on antiretroviral therapy and in the laboratory then treated those cells with the same drug, venetoclax. That was done in my laboratory and found that it indeed killed off infected cells. So that's pretty interesting. Um, it builds on other work on venetoclax, but this was very clear results in both the mouse and what we call ex vivo or out-of-the-body experiment.